All right, let's do this. We got three shots. I think so. Looking at this. Depends on how far you want to spruce this up. I will probably do a couple of things here. So um, animation wise, it all depends what your setup is, how far you want to go. It's it a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, the camera stuff we can always add later. Um, right now, just quick for the camera. It feels like it's panning over to the right too soon. Like the um, camera guy or camera woman is anticipating that turn. So I would keep her in that framing so she has room to go. So now that she's center, I will probably move her over so that she's around here-ish. Can you keep her center? Or actually, she, I don't think she's fast enough to suddenly lead the frame, but um, definitely be more over there. And then you can maybe towards here start to catch up, potentially. I'm not sure how much time there is, but you can suggest a hint of, of camera change. So right now, the move is also very even and it anticipates, which is a bit funky. Um, but I can also show you how to do uh, some handheld stuff. Uh, will make this a bit more exciting. For her here, I know we want to keep, or I don't know if you want to keep arms in frame, but there's something as well where we're, we're budding up here. We don't see much and I would probably put it around here. That's the center line just slightly off. And you can always gain, you know what I mean? You know, unless you're saying, well, how she turns. Because if she is here-ish framing-wise, then we cut. She's pretty close, which is good, so it's not jarring. But maybe by now we... Yeah, see how she gains again and, and stops. So maybe by now, she, maybe she's around here camera is able to catch up and give us some room and then on this one you know if she's if she was here if she's maybe here camera wise you can, you can move it over a bit so it's kind of matching across the cut and then you have that I think that pull out here is cool I mean that works overall maybe use some handheld might be interesting but just, just as a, as a general thing, because the other thing is that because the camera move is so smooth around here, to me this also stands out as being very even in terms of what she's doing. It's always the same. She has one flat, one fist, and it's jump, 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 jump. It's always the same thing. Now, ideally, it would be awesome if she starts like this, and then here, it feels like she's very much on a path some slidey feet but if you are doing slidey feet then what if at this point it's a bit messier she's not leaning as much and just it's almost like a scramble different arm poses and then trying to you know she's going downstairs so there's a bit of a change and this almost shows that she's jumping it was really overextending that leg here i'm not quite sure um and you're also preparing us to go up for a jump or something and then she goes down so i would watch out for that how that cuts do we see it? Are those stairs or are they just flat? Oh, flat-ish. There's still a bit of a change of elevation. I mean, you can see how she intersects through here. So it could be interesting just for contrast. Right now it's all the same, all the same, all the same, all the same. And in the change, which is cool. But if you could do start, slide scramble, maybe get into like a jump or something different that cuts across. And then she finishes that thing. And then that way she does, maybe she wants to start again with a run. Then watch out, she's looking straight and we're looking back. I'm not quite sure what that is. But it could be interesting that maybe after that scramble here, turning over, she has maybe like a sideways thing and that's why she looks back. But she wants to see who's behind her, which makes it more interesting to me because then we, we go, oh, okay, maybe... She's not going for a jog. Something is behind her. It makes it engages the audience because there's something going on versus I'm just running, which is cool because if you do that, you can hold this longer. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's the right length because she has to then, because that's why she didn't see this. 
Then she turns around and does, whoa! And of course, we need to have little things falling down. That's a bit fast. Animation-wise, how she comes forward, there are a couple of things here. Your arms, this guy, really fast and stops on a dime. He, this guy is stuck in a pose. And then that move forward, whoa, it feels very twinned, very quick how it stops, and then shoo, shoots back really fast and stops really fast and also twin versus some flailing, some adjustment and some some reshuffling for balance. And I would, you know, would even take this leg back because right now, as you end here, the silhouette is not the best. The eyes are kind of crossing over, the knees cut off right here, arm is intersecting, and even the thumb forms a tangent. So if you could go back and imagine, I mean, there's this piece, which technically you just take the vertices and move it over. So actually we have negative space there, right? So then that way you can have arm out here. This might be end up here. If you take that step back, you know, technically she might be like this and not that my drawing is great, but it will clear out all the limbs and give us a bit more room for a nice silhouette. And then you can always come back there. But when you do this delay arms, Right now, it feels like chest, arms, and leg are one area, like one one piece, one unit that moves as one there. So watch out for break up. So probably she would leave with the head. She knows she's being followed, holy shit, and then she needs to go back. Okay, where are they now? So the head would leave a lot. That's kind of it. But again, that's a lot of change. So depends what you want to do here, how far you want to push this. Uh, maybe you say, I don't have time. Listen, just stick to technical things then i would say technical things would be hookups like why are the heads different um jumping and then not i would at least vary hand poses and maybe length like stride wise so it's not always the same and just maybe slippages here okay lock it down here and then definitely of whatever i said here that I would fix because your dad needs a bit more work. Alrighty. And actually the camera as well. All the camera notes. It's not uh, that's not that tricky. Because the, the repetition of the animation plus the smoothness of this camera move makes it all a bit dull. Uh, and that's why uh, I would also add a little bit of the camera framing. The handheld we can always add later. Alright, that's it. Thank you. Alright. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.